Today, we're moving on up for fun. It's an all-star reunion with the cast of one of America's all-time greatest sitcoms, The Jeffersons. Plus, of course, what do we do every day? Gossip, 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 with the latest on Susan Sarandon and Julia Roberts. It's all coming right up here, so stay right where you are, okay? Okay. <laughs> City where it's better hearing month. I said it's better hearing month. <laughs> I can screw all of you out, out there now and just keep talking like this and then you'll turn up your set. Anyhow, did you see in the papers, people have been saying psychotherapists are now saying that a woman's relationship with her father is the most important one of her life and that is going to be called the soon ye factor. So... <laughs> Don't look at me. And the other mad thing that's happening, and this is absolutely true, Joey Budafuco, we know who he is from Amy Fisher, he said he wants a female judge, because this man is not stupid. Hey, your honor, you're a great-looking babe like you. You wouldn't put me away, you know what I mean? Uh, anyhow. And she, I think, is going to want a chip and tail dancer for a judge. Anyhow, it's... <laughs> It's time for Gossip, 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 and joining us now via satellite from Star Magazine is Janet Charlton. Hi, Hello, Janet. Hi. How are you? You're looking good. Excellent. Got some hot stories today. Let's start with Susan Sarandon. Yes, they're friends of yours, Susan Sarandon and Tim, and Tim Robbins. Now, this might surprise you, but they fancy themselves the new Doris Day and Rock Hudson. Ah. Can you imagine? Remember, they did Bull Durham together, and that's where they met and fell in love, and that was kind of a romantic comedy. And with the popularity of date movies now, you know, those seem to be the movies that are making all the money. They decided to look for a project like Rock and Doris used to do, and they wanted to do Pillow Talk. So they've been trying to get the rights to that movie. They want to revise it and update it for themselves, but they've been having a terrible time, and I don't know if it's going to happen. And since Tim is a writer, actually, he may write a script just for them, but he's so politically oriented. I don't know, but it could be very interesting and a whole new step for them. A whole new step for them. What about Julia Roberts, who needs a new step? Well, this is Julia Roberts to the rescue this time. It's not a boyfriend story. Julia Roberts, you know, is Eric Roberts' sister. Now, Eric is that, you know, real handsome, volatile actor. Eric had a longtime relationship with Kelly Cunningham, his girlfriend, and they have a little girl, Emma, too. Well, they split up, and Julia's kind of in the middle of it. She likes them both. She's like, doesn't know what to do. And, and, and Kelly Cunningham came to her and said, look, we're in the middle of a custody battle. I can't afford a lawyer. What am I going to do? Your brother's going to ta take my little girl away from me. So that really upset Julia. So she turned on Kelly to her own lawyers because she wants Emma to have a happy family. Now, here's the reason Julia and her bro brother haven't been getting along, because her brother gave an interview to a magazine, and he was talking about himself, and he applied that their mother had possibly abused them when they were children. Well, Julia's mother is an absolute doll, and Julia adores her, and she's very upset about that implication. So she and her brother are definitely on the outs, and he is telling Julia to mind her own business. So it's a big battle going on in the courts. Boy, and how it's going to get worse and worse and worse. Yeah. Now, what's with Johnny Carson and the wife? Yeah. Yeah, Frank Alex? Yeah, Johnny Carson and his wife Alexis just Alexis. aren't getting along as well, Alexis, as well as they used to. And one of the problems is that Johnny recently went to Kenya, Africa, and he absolutely fell in love with the place. He loved the animals, the friendly people. He loved taking long walks. And he's actually been daydreaming about moving there and b building a fabulous house. You know, since Johnny's son died, he has a whole new feeling about life, and he treasures every moment, and he wants to live as happily as he can. Well, now, here's what happens when you marry a woman who's a whole lot younger than you. Alexis is kind of interested in having 
a career and maybe having children. She doesn't want to pack up everything and take off to Africa at this point in her life. So there's a little problem there, and I know that recently they celebrated Alexis's birthday at Granita in Malibu, and Johnny looked very bored. He chain-smoked in the non-smoking restaurant through the whole meal, and no one had the nerve to tell him to stop. Uh-oh. Okay, now what about Stephanie Powers and Robert Still Wagner? Powerful. There's trouble there, too, right? Yeah, Stephanie Powers and Robert Wagner, you know, have been friends for years since they did Heart to Heart. But they recently had a problem when he didn't show up for her wedding, which also happened to be in Africa. She was very upset. Stephanie blamed Jill St. John, Robert's wife. She just thinks that, you know, Jill doesn't care that much about her. Anyway, they're going to have to get together. They've been feuding ever since and really haven't spoken, but they are doing love letters in California together in about a month. So they're going to have to get together. But here's another interesting thing. Also in the works is, an, is another show based on Heart to Heart. They're going to do another two-hour pilot. And if it goes over big, they would love to even maybe do an updated series. So we may be seeing them on TV paired again. So they better get friendly again. Yeah, they better get friendly quick. Now, last but not <laughs> least, my friend Christopher Reeve. Yeah, he's such a doll. He's been having such a hard year. Now he's got malaria, of all things. This is another African reference. He was in Africa researching locations for his new movie. He's going to star and direct in a movie called Samburi. And this is the reason he refused to do Superman 5, because he was so anxious to do this other movie. Well, what happens? He comes back, and now he's flat on his back with malaria. Yeah. It's been a terrible year for him. He also got alopecia, where some of his hair fell out. Ho hopefully that, uh, that's cleared up. But, you know, Know, from all it just looks like maybe the kryptonite finally got to him or yeah. <laughs> well, I, hope he I saw him at a party the other night so he's back on his feet now thank God. oh great that's okay very good. I look forward to seeing you on your feet or sitting down at the end of the show more later more later and we will be right back with the Jefferson's reunion so stay with us. well we're moving on up moving on up to the shine to our door. Oh, we're moving on up, moving on up to the east side. On up. We finally oh, got a piece of the pie. Yes, we're moving on up. Moving on that song is being sung by the Institutional Radio Choir and has got to be one of absolutely the most recognizable theme songs in television history. And here is a good reason for that. The Jeffersons prime time on CBS for 11 years, and now the stars are together again in a live stage show called The Best of the Jeffersons. The entire cast is here today for their first ever, ever, ever televised reunion. To start things off, please welcome George and Wheezy Jefferson, better known as Sherman Hemsley and Isabel Sandsford. Yeah. I'm going out and come back again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know the words of that song? No. Uh, I was, where are they? I want them to write them down for me. <laughs> I never knew the words of the song. Because it's such a catchy, catchy number. Yes. yes. Now, you, when was the show over? Uh, when was it over? 85. 85. 85. Who decided to take it on the road? Well, we sort of all got together. Like, uh... Somebody suggested it to me, and I said, well, that's crazy. You know, I can't get everybody together. So then I started thinking, hey, that might be fun, because we had so much fun before. So I started calling everybody, and they said, yeah, why not? So then we all sort of said, let's do it. Why didn't you do a TV special? Everybody's doing TV specials. The Brady Bunch are back. You have to be asked. asked. She likes to do What do you mean you have to be asked? She'll tell you. How can you not I be mean, asked? I mean, you just can't just give a TV special. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They've never gotten together with you? <laughs> no. I, I can't mean, believe it. I mean, first of all, they dragged the rug from under us while we were on hiatus in May. We didn't have a big send-off like Cheers. Right. Or others I might mention. They just forgot about us. They sent us out there into the wilderness. What were forgot you all about us. Were the ratings, you were on 11 years. Yeah. Were the ratings starting to go down? No, we were still in the top 10. Still in the top 10? Yeah. And they took you off? It's impossible. Yeah. Well, uh, somebody decided at CBS when it heads um, that... Uh, 
People were tired of us. I guess they were just tired of us. But you know, it's like today, I mean, Ren Jay's, ABC is cutting the rug out from a lot of people. You just wonder where yeah, the heads but see, are. They, they, they didn't tell us that we were going to We waited until the last day, the last, the final day, May 15th, they said that was it. Were well, you mean, devastated? I found out about it through the trades that we were canceled. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was strange. What, I read about it. Makes you, what about Norman Lear? He was a producer, right? Yes. Well, he had sort of absented himself from us for a while. <laughs> We didn't see him, I mean. See, nobody called you personally. Thank you for 11 years. Gee, kids, it's over, they but... Gave, well, they gave me a, a gold clock. Would they give you a I clock? clock. Yeah. Yeah. We got gold clock. <laughs> gold or gold plates? I guess because gold we were... Gold plated. Gold uh, plated. Came from Tiffany. What? <laughs> I guess because Other we were lazy. people get gold watches. We yeah. got a gold clock. A gold clock. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can put a strap on it. What the hell? <laughs> Laugh at your lips and make it fix. What about spin-offs? You went on to do something else. Yeah, I did. Um, I forgot what it was now. Amen. <laughs> Amen. For how many years? Five. five. So you did five years. Yeah. What about you? What was yeah, what about me? What about you? What would, did you do a spin-off? I became a couch It potato. wasn't a spin-off, actually. It was just a whole other thing. A whole other thing. Yeah. But, you, but you must have had offers. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Who was your agent? Did I have any offers? You did what? Maybe you did a couple things. I uh, uh, did a, but, that, I um, did a lot of ga game shows and like yeah, that. Yeah, stuff Grand like Hotel. that. What? All right, Grand that's... Hotel. Oh, we went to Italy to you Grand did, Hotel. You did the crowd. Remember you did a thing? Grand Hotel. <laughs> oh, what was that? I did have a TV show. Yeah, Grand Honey Hotel. Honeymoon Hotel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she had one. Well, I mean, for five minutes. Yeah. I forgot about it. <laughs> no. Did you come out of it rich? Eleven years. Yes. Okay, thank God. <laughs> The only problem I find, that's all. I, I'm grateful for the 11 seasons we were on. I'm grateful for the money I made. I'm right. grateful for the recognition I got. It's just that they didn't give us, I don't think, the recognition of closing episode. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But maybe that's, that's the, good. Maybe that's because, do you know, maybe now that you're taking it on the road again, somebody can bring it back. You know what I'm saying? Well, By so not well, having all you die off, or so they're divorced, they've got places to go on to. Yep. Cheers, it's over. He took off his toupee. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> it's, yeah. Hey, that's saying so long America. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what about before before you were on the show? You were, you were in what? What were you on before? I know you became stars. Mm -hmm. All in the family? All in the family. Oh, yeah. And you were where? Uh, I was like on Broadway. I did Pearly for three years. That's right. when Norman Lear, Lear saw me. And then I went on the road with... Um, don't bother me, I can't cope, uh, to San Francisco. And then that's when I got into the All in the Family thing. Now, when the show started the Jeffersons, you became role models, right? Did you realize that? Did you realize, when it, I know, well, you, you make a face, but it's true. <laughs> you, you're a role okay, model. Role models. Role models. <laughs> Here's a family that's, uh, that's together, that's doing well, that's living great, that things are okay. You know, I think it was a very terrific, positive yeah, model. Yeah, one family you know, out of millions. Yeah, Let's no, but then Cosby, Cosby came along and said, oh, look at this, look at the wonderful role model he is. And I said, what about the Jeffersons? Well, uh, no, I, I said the same thing. Yeah, but you I didn't call me. <laughs> <laughs> I know, we were a fluid family, fluid yeah. family, and uh, first time, I think, First on time on television that I could think of. Yeah. yeah, but everybody got recognized but us. I mean, as I said, they sent us out to the pasture. What do you think is, you think you were just... Too was, nice, we were just too, too nice. nice. We no, never that, yeah, I was going to so. say, I was just going to say, did either one of you ever try to walk off? No. no. I wouldn't dare. Yeah. Why not? I wanted the job. I'm well, a first, Virgo. First of yeah. all, we wanted to keep, we know, we want to start it. Yeah. Oh, I, I get that. <laughs> no, May, there was no, I mean, you never heard stories coming from all these shows you hear, this one's unhappy, that one's not coming back unless they get double the money. Because there were never we stories. We were never unhappy. And each, it was like school. You know how you get off school for summer months? Right. And you go back. It's time. To, every time it was time to go back to work, I was ready to yeah. go yeah. back to work. And we were glad to see each other, you know, and it, yeah, it, it was, was like just marvelous. Yeah. yeah. There was no fights, no, uh, see, well, so. that's the trouble. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Maybe if one or two of you had been real bitches. That, oh, I you know thought exactly about what I'm it. saying. I thought yeah. about go it. Go and but slam your door. Go to hell. I'll be back when you're going to go to hell. <laughs> Well, I did it once when I wanted more money. Oh, I all right. 
<laughs> Did it work? Yep. So you should have done it every no, season? No, no, no. <laughs> you don't overthrow your hair. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. No. Now, we're going to bring on some more of the cast. You're going to stay right. That's right. We'll start All right. reminiscing a little bit more. Oh, when you we want come, us to move down? Well, we'll, we'll figure it <laughs> Well, I was here last year. I know. <laughs> You want to stay where you are? We'll just I want to stay where I am. So you stay, we'll move you down. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Still to come. <laughs> the woman who shot the start of as America's sassiest maid, Marla Gibbs. And you will move you down for Marla then. Right. Perfect. All right. For free tickets, send a self-addressed stamped envelope to tickets. The Joe River Show, Columbus Circle Station, P.O. Box 20701, New York, New York, 10023. Or call 212-975-5757. running sitcoms in television history, The Jeffersons, with Sherman Hemsley now and Isabel Sanford. Joining us is one of the funniest actresses around. She made America love her character of Florence Johnson, the maid with the motor mouth. Please welcome Marla Gibbs. <laughs> Great, you know. Well, I, we I, don't I, look like we have aged any. <laughs> Do the fans, when you what come out on that? stage, I, I, I don't know if that was just. When you come out on stage, it's what nine, eight years, nine years. <laughs> Eight, eight years. Mm -hmm. Do they say, ooh, does anyone ever come to you and say you look older? Because they do these things to me all the time. You know? What? Oh, I haven't seen no, you in 10 years. You look carry, terrible. We carry our bats with us yeah. as we walk. That's a, to make sure. No, but when you come on the live stage, do, do they say you look different than TV? No, as a matter of fact, we have on the same clothes. So you, <laughs> you just did everything exactly the way it was. That's fabulous. Tell me about your auditions. How did you audition for this? Or didn't you have to? Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah. I went in, and, and the character kind of reminded me of my grandmother and my aunt, and I just kind of let them hop out. Right. And everything I did in that audition, they asked me to do in the show, so. So it worked out. The matter of being at the right place, at the right time, with the right character. Did America think that was you? Because you're such a smart woman, you're a good businesswoman. You know, I know you so differently. Do people always think you're going to come up with a smart-ass remark and a wisecrack and all that stuff? I usually do. Yeah. <laughs> What about the two of you? Do they always think you're married? Do they realize that some... Um, people, yeah. Yeah. People. That you are married or you were married? I'm a widow. You're a widow now. All right. When... You, I know. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been a widow? 25 years. <laughs> And no, <laughs> do you know, only people that are widows can laugh at that. Everyone else gets so uptight. Oh, God. <laughs> 25 years and he died on the way to the divorce court. <laughs> Why didn't you ever marry again? You gotta be asked. <laughs> you never got groupies? None of you had, you had to have people writing and asking you out. Oh, I've gotten, oh, well, that you're going into the fan mail. Yes, I've gotten a, a lot of offers. Yeah. Did you get offers? Uh-huh. Yeah. Most of the prisoners that write yeah. to me. <laughs> what about you? Yeah, same thing. Ready-made families would write. Yeah, right. Yeah. Did, how did you treat all of them? Did you, did you answer your own? Was somebody else there to help you answer all your fan mail? No, I answer them. Yeah. What about Emmys? Now, was this, what did the show win? What about win? Emmys? I want to know. What about... What well, we want to know what about it. She's the Emmy winner. Only one. Oh, that's right. We did have one. Yep. That well, one <laughs> Emmy in 11 years? And one, Orlando won one. Orlando uh, for, um, for props or something? 
He remember your stuff more than you do. Well, didn't that make it? Just, oh, we, no. we are nominated at least. Well, it's not important. Oh yeah, we were, I'm, I'm nominated. Yeah. Didn't it make yeah, it mine crazy? Mine was important. Yeah, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't it, didn't it upset you after 11 years, the writing never got there it? There should have been at yeah. least five Emmys yeah. given in this show. For the show itself, yeah. for the writers, you know, and, and, I, I agree and with for you. the other actors. At least five through the years. Yeah. It's amazing. The writers got all the Emmys when they went to Cheers. They didn't get any any Emmys for the Jeffersons. <laughs> were were your writers the, the Cheers writers? Yes. That's a, now, what about the at the time you were doing it, it was the norm, normally it was the hot guy in television then, right? So it was all in the family. Then the Jefferson, no, then Maud. Right. No, then Maud, the, I think Maud was the first one, the first spinoff. And then, uh, and then Good, good times. times. Good Times. And mm -hmm. then, then you guys. Then us? Yeah. And I was thinking back, I remember on Maud they did an abortion episode. I remember uh, Archie Bunker being just outrageous. Were you allowed to be outrageous in those? What was the most outrageous of the shows that you did? Well, we had the interracial marriage, yeah. I think. That was yeah, the that was big thing. Yeah. 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 Did you, what was the relationship? What was, when the audience saw that, good letters, bad letters, what was happening then? I think they accepted them as a normal yeah. uh, family, and Norman was very careful to make sure that they behaved. Uh, in the way that a normal family to kiss and to do all the right. things in that first kiss and then of course that was the first the time first kiss, they went uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but after that it was nothing it was, just what about being confused with other stars you told me or you told someone that they always confused you with somebody else that's the role yeah yeah did it get you crazy yeah. Yeah. Do you do you think that's because you're both black or just yeah. because you're so, except Yeah, but you know no 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 but No, but you know what I'm saying? Both black, both character yes. actors. They don't see, they just look. Yeah, but you but know But one told me um, you I S Miss Rowe followed me <laughs> half a block. Miss Rowe, Miss Rowe, and I just kept going. I knew I knew I <laughs> Finally, she got in front of me, and Miss Roll. I said, "I am not Miss Roll." She said, "Oh, yes, you are." <laughs> what? And her friend said, "Oh, no, 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 no." And a lot of people apologized to me profusely. They said, "I know you are." They talked to me, and they, "I love you." And I, love, I love you. She said, "Then good times." <laughs> Or Sanford and Son. I have been right. put in that show yeah. too. That's Sanford and Son. <laughs> but you know, the types are types. I used to call every blonde, good looking, vapid girl a Heather. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> when they would come on the Carson show, I didn't know who they were. I would just automatically use the word Heather if I couldn't remember the name. So tell me, Heather, how you doing? And two, two times out of three, they'd answer. Doing just fine, thank you. <laughs> I have an exercise tank. <laughs> tell me about salaries. Did you ask, ask me what you asked her? Did people reckon? Did no, you, did you leave the show rich? Did you leave the show? Oh, I'm no. scared to ask you what? You I got me. within smelling distance of that money, honey. What and I thought of flip, all of you. Then I got to 227, and I got within smelling distance of that money. What? But you of all, you had businesses going. You had, every time I speak to you, you had a nightclub. Well, that's where all the little money went. Yeah. You didn't come out of this rich. I'm dying for you. If I hadn't had the businesses, I wouldn't have come out of this rich. Why not? When they because in you those didn't. days, when you want to get on TV and they know you don't have any place else to go, they get you to sign everything. And right. you say, yes, yes, yes. What else yeah. you going to say? Happy, happy to be on. Happy That's to be right. on. That's right. And you never got a chance to renegotiate, slam a door and lock yourself away. No. I got close. In the 11th year, I was very close. One more year, I thought, zip. Oh. Same thing with 227, you can, because you start back again, and you get close, and zip. Well, we got to talk about getting a third shot here. <laughs> we're going, when we come back, we're going to bring on more of the Jefferson's All-Star Reunion, so stay with us. Gibbs and Sherman Hemsley and Isabel Stanford join us now, our prime time's first interracial couple, the Whoopi and Ted of their day. They play. <laughs> Well, I like to think 
think of them. They play George and Wheezy's upstairs neighbors. And now, let me just get the name right. They got me laughing. All right. The, the Willises, right? Please welcome Roxy Roca and Franklin Cover. <laughs> And I said cover, and they said to me, no, you always get it wrong, it's cover. And you got it wrong, it's so just I got fine. it wrong, they got it wrong. <laughs> like, screw them, it's yes, cover. Right. All right, awesome. <laughs> I'm stupid enough, my staff Boy, should make me no, stupid. don't go into this. And now, <laughs> joining us now is their doorman, who is always looking for that handout, Ned Wertimer. <laughs> interracial couple on television, right? As far as you know. As far as you know. <laughs> Abbott and, and the last. Like, <laughs> the last, I think. No. No, there's been, been some other oh, attempts Heather? since then. That's right. Oh, there are a lot now yeah. on daytime soaps, right? Yes, yes. Right, exactly. What about in the evenings? Nowhere in the evenings? Uh, Guillaume did one. Robert Guillaume had a show in which that situation, he was a psychiatrist or something like that. Yeah, there have been several since. Since. But mm -hmm. you were the first. Now, you were in real life married to a white man. Yes. You in real life are married to... A black lady. Yes. Was that, was that just... Was, or a black man. I don't know. Just, you know. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, my wife is uh, half Spanish, so... so that's right. Was this by accident? Did that just happen by accident? I mean, was, no, I mean, you mean whether or not he called up and said, did, when, they were ca some when they were casting, <laughs> did, you know, did you walk in and say, by the way? No. You know, <laughs> I think maybe this will help because my husband's white. Ha, ha, ha. No. Get me? No, you know, no, just, no. Um, just by coincidence that but, it happened that way. Did you try, like uh, Isabel was saying, they tried it. Was it you that was saying it was more? Uh, they tried. It was clever, I it said. It was clever, you said. <laughs> 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 and they made it very realistic. They were very careful about it. Yeah. Did you worry about it all? Or did it just come so naturally to it? Worry about it? No. No, what I'm saying is, well, let's make this look this way, let's make this look oh, that no, way. Oh, no, no, no. I think our first job was to be as natural as possible as a, as a family and as a couple, yeah. that you don't play that. The joke is not the fact that we are married to each other. It is how other people perceive us. Yeah. The joke is when they are surprised to find that we are, you know, connected or how they react to us as a couple. But I think it's more successful when you play it as a real, you know, couple. Yes. Norman said that our biggest mistake is, he said, you both look as if you've been married for 25 years, yeah. so what are we going to do with you? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think he expected it to be a, a, a bigger hue and cry. Yeah. Oh, some people call us communists. Well, but <laughs> they were calling everybody communists. And, then. <laughs> and they were Russian, so it was a compliment. Yeah. You know, was <laughs> <laughs> if you were still on, where would you all be, your characters? What do you think would have happened to you if we had continued on with you? Think I you'd still hope be working I would have found them? a man. Yeah, all right. <laughs> okay. What about the two of you with recession? Oh, well, maybe Sherman, uh, George and I would have had a couple of babies. That's it. Well, <laughs> I thought that would get you. I thought that would get you. you. You could have gone on Oprah because it would have been another miracle. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Do you think you would have maybe with the recession, would they major lose the stores and start again? Do you ever think where the storylines might have taken you? Or? I, I think maybe we would travel and go probably retired or something. I just yeah, want to know would y'all have taken me with you? No. <laughs> <laughs> everywhere we can't go take you everywhere, Florida. Why not? What about you two? Do you ever think what would, where your characters, where they were planning for you two to go? Or? Well, we did. We thought about a, a spinoff one time, remember? Yeah. And I think uh, Tom was into to his publishing business, and uh, we might have moved to Soho. Right. And we're living, you know, like more of a swinging, artistic uh, yeah. type couple, living out our dreams, right. which right. we hadn't well, accomplished. It wasn't working too well with me, because I'm such a square, say, yeah. so I'm <laughs> lost down in Soho. And it, it just never, never came to be? No. And you? And then I would have invited them to my house in the Virgin Islands. <laughs> <laughs> All the money, money. Yeah. 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 How did you get? <laughs> 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 His trademark. And everybody. Yeah. yeah. And then I didn't make. I got pretty good salary on this show. Every year they increased it. You know, so. It, <laughs> and I saved. Money. And say, I saved. So what happened to you, Larry? That's what I want to know. What happened? Yeah. To you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Les, but, you know, she's I a like... businesswoman, really. I mean, that's what Yeah, I know. I always think of her such a businesswoman, and I'm very upset now. She's telling me she's not rich, 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 rich. She keeps she's doing so much more. You're not as upset as I am. <laughs> Go ahead. I'd also like to mention that we're missing Jenny and Lionel, yeah. their children. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. They put them out. But they don't go on with you without them. I want, when we come back, I want to talk what it's like working in the theater, and if you all kept in touch over the years, and then you are going to do a little dance for us, sweetie puss. Hello. Oh, uh, goodness. Okay? <laughs> so we'll be right back. Stay with us. And a song. All right. Reunion of the Jefferson. Uh, you've all done well, but now your son has got all your, your children. You were just telling me your son now is on the road. And he He's was, on the road yeah. with us, right? Which is great. <laughs> and your children are okay. They're fine. Yeah, I'm, you, you, well, at Stanford, he's a musician. He's yeah. gone on the road. Okay, you have no children because you never married, no. Mr. Big Bachelor. <laughs> and your yes. son, I saw in the New York Times. Oh, what a wonderful Mother's yeah. Day gift that was! Yeah. Just surprised to yeah. see that. And tell your son is. <laughs> My mother used to say, self-praise is no recommendation. I'll let you say it. All right, Lenny Kravitz. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not very nice. Husband is here, right? His dad is here. Yes. His dad mm -hmm. is here. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, what about you? Your your son is. Well, my son is here today too. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, an actor in New York, Bradford Culver. Brad he and, looks just uh, like you. They keep saying there he is. <laughs> Uh, my daughter is in Los Angeles, and they're going to do summer theater this summer. So, so they're, they're all, and what about you? Children or single? No children, but uh, very happily married to a Ph.D. in history from Nigeria. Great. So they're all just... We, we cuddle a lot. <laughs> very... happy, happy, happy. Good luck in that sense for all the cast. You know what I'm saying? Nice things have happened to you. Now, yes. Have there been any tragedies? At, uh, you know, because you know each other so long. Anybody... Bad things have happened to anybody particularly? Mm. No, thank no. God. I don't no, know where to begin. Begin, no. But, uh, <laughs> no, but you know what I'm saying. Oh, but well, like, really, you want well, to I had heart surgery. Well, yeah, but yeah. look at you now, so that's not bad. Oh, You know oh, what I'm saying. Right. It was bad, yeah. Yeah. It was what bad about then. Ha happy episodes. What was your favorite episode, all of you? Do you all have favorites? Well, mine is with Sammy Davis. He and I oh, together. Yes. Yeah. I, like, I love that. Because that was Billy D. Billy D. Billy D. All right. <laughs> what about you? The piano band was, was one of my favorites. That's. And I think the, I like when we did the Laurel and Hardy bit. Oh, yeah. I mean, for us, that was fun. Oh, yeah. For, yeah, the my favorite was when I had to get into a rabbit suit. <laughs> and I had this giant rabbit suit on. And you went, we were going to a masquerade party. Yeah. And you went as Snow White. And my <laughs> Prince Charming didn't come through. So I had, they gave me this giant rabbit suit, and I had to get on on stage, and it had giant bunny hands, you know. And then there was a little zipper way down here, and I had to, I had to try to. I said I can't get it up. Well, they lost. They, we laughed so hard there we could hardly. There was a carrot dangling on the zipper. That was the thing. I mean. A carrot on. And then we, and I still couldn't get it up. Well, it got funnier and funnier. You know? Finally, they said, why don't you go off stage and just get into the damn costume and come on wearing it. Don't dress on stage. <laughs> what about you? Well, I had a gossip uh, with uh, Marla about uh, uh, Sherman. Uh, George uh, was having an affair. And uh, I got caught by Isabel Wheezy, and she made me tell her that he was having an affair, and she couldn't understand after 30 years why such a thing would happen and i just looked on i said well pardon me ma'am but that's probably the reason right there the 30 years <laughs> it was a good scene a lot and then i had a good drunk scene with marla well, you know that. my mother's favorite was when you and marla pretended to be yeah, us yeah, that was oh yes <laughs> oh. that was a terrific we did so many you know, we did yeah. 10 years of this you know? so many. Yeah. 250 was she thought that was so the funniest many. one you were both what were the episodes each one of you remember go Oh, was that the worst? I was so embarrassed when that happened. Can you think of anything like that? 
Doc Floyd, I guess that's why. <laughs> were there any times that you just went, oh, God, I hate this episode, or no, everything went wrong? No, always would come up with something. Um, yeah, was Sherman would be at home and, and come in and tell me, say, I was at home last night and I was thinking about you and you wanted to get the door and I choked you and threw you in the bathroom. I said, well, do it, do it. Yeah, yeah. And we would always put those things in and it would be so funny. He would always end up with the cap line. I don't know why they always remember me capping. <laughs> he would always come up with something. I said, take out the garbage. And he was being Mr. Important. So yeah. I said, well, here, then take out the garbage. He opened it and said, well, hop in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Before we go to commercial, stand up and do the George Jefferson walk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we'll be back with more in a moment, and then you're going to sing for us, okay? So stay with us. Pennsylvania and on May 21st at the Palace Theater in Stanford, Connecticut on May 22nd, so please come and see me. And we are back with the entire cast of the Jeffersons. Sherman now is going to perform Louie Louie from his current album, Dance.
our guests stay at the beautiful Plaza Hotel overlooking Central Park. say where you all going to be performing. You will be June 8th through the 13th in Chicago at the Airy Crown Theater. Then you'll be June 15th through the 21st in Houston at the Arena Theater. Then all through July, you're going to be in Birmingham, Alabama, New York at the, what is it, Beekman? Beacon, Beacon. Beacon, Beacon Theater. Yeah. Okay, Atlanta, Dallas, San Antonio. It's going to be fabulous. Do you like performing live on stage? You excited? Love it. Love it. I love it. Yeah, speak to you on stage. stage. All theater people. All theater. All theater. 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 <laughs> Standing ovations? Yes, yes we have. Sure, we have. Yeah. Really, really nice. It like, goes up at the beginning, and we're just like we on a left. pose, like and they just left. cheer. It's, it's fun. So, it's fun. now we yeah, have. We a all started crying in Detroit. I mean, Did the you really? went up. Yeah, yeah. there were four thousand people that started to scream. Five. Yeah, five. We all loved it. Five thousand. But I want. Who was counting the house? I didn't. Now we have for you from the congratulatory cakes. For a create congratulatory cake from Creative Cakes. That's what we got. Let's wait till you see what they made. Creative Cakes made this for you. And we thought oh. we had a little cake for you. Oh. Did you ever think you'd all be Mars and Pan? That's great. Make a wish, but don't cut into your fingers because you take your fingers home. Oh, exactly. Right. Right. It's, it's just been ballot. great oh, seeing all of you. Thank you yeah. so much. Uh, we didn't have time for gossip, so what can I do on Which tomorrow's show? What can I tell you? TV's first ever super sexy pregnancy pa pageant, okay? You won't want to miss it. Thank you for watching today. Cut the cake, make a wish. Everybody, hit your hand.